Welcome to the latest episode of the King of the Road Show on Fox 4 KBTV. The King of the Road Show is a national award-winning entertainment-based program produced by Southeast Texans for Southeast Texans. King of the Road. Thanks for watching this week's King of the Road Show in HD. I'm Jim King. With a reminder for you country fans to stream the all-new King's Country Internet Radio for the best country music mix on the planet 24-7 at kingscountry.net. King's Country has a king-size playlist with over 2,000 of the very best country tunes, past and present. Stream us for a while on your PC or smartphone, and we're sure you'll agree that we have a much better country music mix. That's the all-new King's Country at kingscountry.net, sponsored by the Log On Cafe and Guideco Technologies in Beaumont. Coming up on this week's show, we'll look in the rear view at the recent customer appreciation party at Big Daddy's Live Crawfish Farm. We'll also wear David Nail's new music video, The Sound of a Million Dreams, on our music clip of the week, sponsored by Starvin' Marvin's Bar and Grill in Beaumont. But first, we'll cruise back to Finch Hutton Restaurant for the first installment of our new monthly segment, Chef's Table. Extra large and turbocharged. It's the king of the road show. Oh, hi. One man has the power to take you behind the scenes. Jim King of the Road. Jim King of the Road. chess tables for us to get together and just have a good time with people who are uh, from various aspects of the community. Uh, normally chef's tables are a bunch of guys normally in the restaurant industry that get together uh, in the old days. Um, we used to all get together at somebody's house after work and just uh, have a good time to talk. Uh, chef's table is just a uh, forum just to have a good time, drink some wine, have some good food, hopefully and uh, have good conversations with interesting people. Uh, we feel that it's very important that people uh, hear uh, things in a relaxed atmosphere. They say that people do most of their business over the dinner table, and uh, that's true. Uh, you get a more relaxed environment, people are a little bit more loose, and uh, the opinions are more honest uh, whenever you get around good wine and great food and great conversation. So uh, that's the point of all chef's table, is to uh, use it as a form, a relaxed form, uh, just to get various ideas from the community from uh, different people, uh, from different socioeconomic uh, levels and states. Like any great chef, Chef Raphael is always shopping for the best ingredients for his delicious creations. The chef likes to keep his shopping local, and for the best cuts of meat, Raphael often visits Butcher's Corner, located right next door to Finch Hutton Restaurant on Boston Avenue in Nederland. Appreciate it, brother. Anytime. All right. All right. Good seeing you. All right. Uh, you know, we got to stress the importance of using locally sourced product, uh, beef, produce. It's really important to get a good quality product for the restaurants. We use Scott and Butcher's Corner over here. They do a great job. Any kind of specialty cuts that you need, they have it. And, uh, you know, this is the way we support our local community, just by keeping the local guy in business and uh, not going to the big corporate monsters. So we use people like Scott and Butcher's Corner, and uh, they do a great job, and they can do anything that we want. All right, Scott? Yes, sir. I'm really excited that we're doing our first segment of uh, Chef's Table. We've talked about this recently, and I think it was a great idea that you have. It's going to really... Um, let some people come out and enjoy the food that you have here, the cuisine and nice company. We've got some very distinguished guests coming up, including W.L. Pate. He's the uh, mayor pro tem of Beaumont. Yeah, I don't know how we let that guy in. Well, you know, <laughs> he has a way of getting in everywhere, I think. Uh, apparently, I didn't uh, change my key lock. <laughs> but I know he eats here quite often, yes, doesn't he? Does. Yes, he does. Yes, W.L. does. We'll also have uh, Starvin' Marvin Atwood, so you better be prepared for that because uh, he's starving. Big fan, yeah. big fan. He has uh, Starvin' Marvin's Bar and Grill. It's been open a couple of years. They just had their second year anniversary and very successful there on 11th Street in Beaumont. Got an author by the name of uh, David Hearn coming who has published one book called Hulagu's Web. It's a uh, political thriller and about to uh, send another book to the publisher. It's called uh, Christmas Special. So we got kind of a menagerie of uh, people coming here in just a little while. And we're excited about that for the first installment. And I also have a, a good friend of mine and an uh, independent business owner about to open up a live music and restaurant in Mid County yeah. uh, named Roger Monarch. And he's opening up a place called uh, Texas Rockstar. 
and uh, it's it's a Austin-esque uh, live music venue with great food and uh, and a great environment. So I'm excited about having them. So what's on the menu tonight, Chef? Uh, I have no earthly idea. Well, you better uh, have an idea. <laughs> no, to arrive. We're, we're, we got some little neck clams that we're going to do in a quick sauté. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to do a pork belly salad. I know it doesn't sound very healthy. I've it's tried not. it. It's I delicious. Know. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a braised pork belly with strawberries and pineapple. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to have our uh, top selling steak, which is a steak Diane, and then we're going to finish off the meal with a uh, raspberry cream brulee. Delicious, man. Can't wait. All right. So what are you going to prepare now? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> you just got to wait, man. We want action. Uh, uh, you'll see action. <laughs> just chill. Okay. Drink your beer. So gentlemen, let's have a good dinner. Here, 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 here. The French hut. Oh no. In France. To chef's table and uh, my guest. I went off to college uh, at Louisiana Tech to play football. Terry Bradshaw and I are the two freshman quarterbacks. Well, I don't know who Terry Bradshaw is. He's on the other side of Sabine River. You know, we don't know anybody outside of Texas, and you know, and they play football. And uh, Terry wasn't really a great student. Um, I think it's pretty evident by the way they treat him and talk to him about on Fox News. But he is a great quarterback and a great guy. And uh, I'll just put it this way. Um, Terry and I studied together. <laughs> and he sat right next to me in freshman English. And as, we, as you'll recall, back in 66, 67, if you didn't pass freshman English, you got drafted, but not by the NFL. You got drafted by the ARMY. <laughs> and uh, so uh, the short version of this story is I made two Bs, Terry made two Cs, and the rest is NFL history. Uh, five rings? Huh? Five rings? Uh, I, th I know we got four. at least four. four. But he and lost all his hair. Uh, well, I can't well, exactly uh, say much. <laughs> it's that thinking. We were thinking That's a lot. Right. But he used, to, he used to actually wear a toupee, remember that? Yeah. You would see him on television man. with a toupee, but then on Sundays, the football game, you'd, take it out. Mm -hmm. you'd see the, the clown. It head. was hair club yeah. for me. Yeah. I lived in Berkeley back many years ago. And I used to have dinner parties with a couple of people there that I loved. And this reminds me of it. it was, uh, in fact, I've looked for this guy on Facebook for about a year now that I used to enjoy having these great dinner parties with, which we did similar to this. He wasn't a chef, unfortunately, but we had great meals, we had great talks, and uh, his wife was an artist. She used to have art shows all the time. And I, and I missed it, you know, tremendously. And, uh, Jim and I, he's been over my house sometimes. Uh, we've had dinner parties with Jim, uh -huh. uh, Mike Bolgens, a uh, few other people. Um, it's nice just having a little, you know, sit down at dinner parties, chit chat, and good drinks, good food. And, and like you said, there's so much culture here. It's great to have something like this where you can actually talk about, share them with each other that, that's going on. Like Jim here, you were talking about who a person is. Well, Jim apparently is exactly who he is right here. A person wants to make a great TV show. I mean, this is. Ever since I've known him, uh, four, five, what has it been? Five years, six years, whatever. Something like that. Uh, that's all he's been. And I, I actually, we came from a place in Torrenia. We both lived in Torrenia. Torrenia, Italy. Italy. At the same time, but I was, uh, I was a, I was rock a baby. And roll. I was a rock baby. and roll star. He was just a kid. Well, was about a star. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Can you please I know it's only that. rock and roll, but I like it. Oh. You know. One of the things is that, that is, I think that's lacking, me being from the River Walk for uh, 12 years, was entertainment. And, you know, Marvin's done it in Belmont and, and has done an excellent job. Uh, has gone through some trauma, would you say? It's all worked out. It's all, it's all, it's all worked out. It's all worked out. And uh, uh, now Mid-County, now Mid-County, Rogers uh, going to be opening soon a a Austin-esque uh, type place, uh, but what were you thinking? I mean, you know, we're, we're crazy. I mean, you know, this industry, like Marvin told me earlier today, is so different 
it's so stressful, it, it, it is so apt to failure. Um, what, what led you? What led you to it? Tell us what you're uh, doing. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna <coughs> do a restaurant. It's gonna be a definite restaurant. I want good food, not not uh, frozen food, not whatever. Right. You know, uh, I want to do a pizza oven. I do. Uh, I want to have live entertainment come in. I want to be able to bring national accent. Building we has kind of small for it, which we totally remodeled it. All right, still in the process of totally remodeling. And where is it? It's the old uh, cash. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah so man. Looks nothing it's like it did. Good. Like I mean, we gutted it, gutted it. I work in a program that we really. I'm now not tell us about out. that program. Right, so it's a weatherization program. Okay. What is it? It's a weatherization program. It weatherization program. Elderly, okay. disabled and handicapped people. And you've been doing that for a number of years. Since 1988. Ace Construction. Ace Construction does it, okay? And we've been doing it since 1988, okay? We started out with about $200,000 of federal funds coming in this area. Last year we did $15 million. Yeah. To help uh, people. To help that people right here. Low income. Poor, low income, elderly, and disabled. Okay, 125% to 200% below the poverty level to qualify. Okay, so I see poor people. Sinks fall off the wall, the drain, they cut a hole in the floor and they leave the hoses up. Well, that's, that's, that's that's the kind of reminds David okay. of some of the things we used I mean, to have to deal I mean, with. Literally, the so many flies. You think you have a fly problem? You have a seen fly infestation. So I am in my orange, wife. This is in Orange, Texas. This is in Beaumont, Texas. This is in Port Arthur, Texas. This is right here amongst us, okay? Poor, poor, poor people, okay? I'm talking about with three O's, like you said, and they are they are scrapping. I see elderly people that are counting their medicine, okay? Counting, and this really hurts. Oh, man. They're counting their medicine and their money, and I can only take my medicine every other day instead of every day this month because I can't afford to buy the whole prescription. We hope you've enjoyed the first installment of Chef's Table, our new monthly segment from Finch Hutton Restaurant on Boston Avenue in Nederland. Cruise there soon for a great dining experience. It's the King of the Road Show, and coming up later, we'll look in the rear view at Big Daddy's Live Crawfish Farm's recent customer appreciation party. But coming up next, it's rising country star David Nail's latest music video on King's Music Clip of the Week, sponsored by Starvin' Marvin's Bar and Grill in Beaumont. You're cruising in the King's Caddy. King of the Road.